As you probably know by now, starting Monday, everyone in Dane County will be required to wear a mask while inside businesses. There are several different kinds of masks, but which one works the best? Dr. Zorba Pastor joins us now to talk about that and also take your questions coming up in just a few minutes. Hi, Zorba. Hi, Zorba. Hi, nice to see you guys. So what are the difference between the masks? Well, first of all, this is the N95 mask. So this mask, which is hard to get, actually, as you can see, my voice is sounds different because this mask really works on the outside, works on the inside. It's really the number one mask. And it's got to be fitted. It's got to be fit correctly. So when we work as physicians, we do a correct fitting. But these are a little bit hard to get. Can't always get them. Sometimes they have them at Menards and other places. Now, this mask is the second best mask. It really is still not as good as the N95, but this works for particles. And I wanna talk a little bit about the droplets because this one has a screen on the back. You can now buy these on amazon.com, a bunch of other places, hardware stores. These are really easy to get now. They were difficult to get before. And these are actually, these are okay for most of us. These are, you know, things that are made out of cloth. You know, masks have become a fashion statement. And so you look at something like this. If I put it on me, I kind of look fashionable, don't I? <laughs> How do I look? Very fashionable. <laughs> yeah. Very fashionable. But they have become fashion statements. And I always ask people when I'm in the dog park, if I'm looking at a mask, did you make it? And a lot of people who have crafts are making masks. They're not as good as the others, but they're good for the most part in keeping down the particles. So I want to talk a, a little bit about that. WHO just came out with some information that's really important. And they said it's not just the big droplets that come out of your mouth if you have COVID. It's also the smaller droplets. And the problem is the smaller droplets stay inside the air longer than the bigger droplets. So the smaller ones may be there up to maybe an hour or two hours after you leave the space. Now, this is really important for people who work in bars, in restaurants, people who actually sing in choirs, in churches, in synagogues, in mosques, because when you're singing, if you have COVID, you are just putting out, because you're not singing with a mask, you're putting out the big droplets that go about maybe six feet, but the small droplets go higher in the air and may be responsible for some of the major uptick we're now seeing in the South. So it's a big issue to wear a mask. If everyone in the United States wore a mask when they were inside, we would definitely drop the curve. We would definitely drop it down tremendously until we finally get a vaccine, which is maybe about a year or a year and a half away. I am pro-mask. It's just like washing your hands after you're in the, in the bathroom, in the toilet. Wash your hands, wear your mask. And I don't care if you're in Dane County, Greene County, Rock County, you know, Ozami County, you know, Dora County, everyone should be wearing masks. Don't be lazy. And it's just like seatbelts. You know, years ago, people would say, well, it's my right not to wear a seatbelt. Once it became a $10 fine, about 20 or 30% of the people who said it was their right not to wear a seatbelt started buckling up. Same is true of masks. Wear them, folks. It's easy. You're protecting other people more than yourself. Yeah, protecting other people. I mean, don't you want to protect your neighbors when you're in a grocery store? Don't you want to protect little kids? Some of them, very rare, but some of them are going to get really sick from COVID. And what about the senior citizens who are in a store with you? Don't you want to keep them from getting sick? Because a lot of people are asymptomatic. I had a good friend of mine in Sun Valley, 84 years old, had a little cold about the time of COVID, and they were doing a prevalence study, and it turned out she had COVID, had hardly any sickness symptoms and it's she was 85 so it's not as if 85 year olds automatically have symptoms some of us don't that's just the way it is all right two seven zero nine nine three three is the number to call to talk to dr zorba pastor we'll mask up during the commercial here we'll be right back <laughs>